Hey guys, here's a little quick supplemental video to my normal weekly video. It uh, just happens to be our, um, a day that we're putting babies away and I'm choosing my holdbacks. So um, I'm really trying to get very selective on what I hold back. I want to try to actually shrink my collection down a little bit, not have as many breeders here, but just focus on the really just the most awesome stuff that I possibly can. So when I hold stuff back, it's generally really, really good stuff. And uh, so today I have a total of five. So we put, we put away, I think it was nine clutches today. And I only have five babies here that I'm keeping back out of nine clutches. So I'm getting a little bit better. I know you guys know that I hold back way too much stuff. And I know that too. So um, I just wanted to show you guys real quick which ones I'm holding back. Because I think they're really special, really awesome snakes. Okay, this one... I believe it's an orange dream, yellow belly, fire lavender, 100% het pied. And then this one, and this is a female, this one is an orange dream, yellow belly, dreamsicle. So, um, yeah, this one's a female as well. Uh, this was produced from breeding a dreamsicle to an orange dream, yellow belly, fire, double hat dreamsicle. And just look how those colors just pop. You can see the pixelated edging. That's the best indicator that it's a yellow belly. And just the general head uh, color and just the, the color of all of the pattern in it, it just screams orange dream to me. So pretty certain that that's got orange dream in it. But been wanting to produce this snake for a while, and uh, I'm, I'm actually happy it's a female. I'll be growing her up as well as this one. I think this one has all the same genes, and I think this one has fire in it as well. Um, but uh, this is a female, so yeah, these will add into my collection. Okay. Next ones I have here, these were all from one clutch. This is from an Orange Dream Lemon Blast Yellow Belly Double Het Clown Pied bred to a Pied Het Clown. So I had a male Orange Dream Yellow Belly Lemon Blast Double Het and bred to a female Pied Het Clown. So this is an orange dream yellow belly pied 66% possible hat clown so that snake can produce some really really cool stuff in the future hopefully it'll prove out to be a hat clown even if she doesn't who can't use another orange dream yellow belly pied female in their collection Okay, and now for the real stars of the clutch. I've produced several other snakes in this clutch as well, but none of them are as cool as these. This is a male Orange Dream Pinstripe Clown Pied. This is the orange color. is just, I don't know, I hope it's coming through on the camera because it's awesome in person. I'm really, really happy to have this one. And then this, I think, is the same thing with pastel in it and yellow belly. I'm almost sure with the, the pixelated edging on this, I'm almost positive that this is a yellow belly. And it's definitely an orange dream lemon blast clown pied. So this is a male too. So I held back another clown pied combo male earlier this year that is similar to this one, but I don't think it has pinstripe in it. I don't think it actually, I'm not sure if it has orange dream in it, but I'll be upgrading that one, swapping that one out for this one. So these two are gonna be future clown pied combo breeders of mine. All right, well, that's it. I hope you guys like those. I was super, super happy to get these uh, in the clutch. Um, just awesome awesome snakes uh, so happy to be hatching all this great stuff it's just i don't know it's been quite a year that's for sure and we're actually still hatching some babies now too i think we've got maybe 30 25 to 30 clutches yet to hatch this year which is really weird i mean it's already 
you know, mid November and we're still hatching stuff. So my season ended up kind of being a little bit more drawn out than normal. So anyway, uh, please like and subscribe. Also make sure to check out my website, royalconstrictordesigns.com. We're trying to upload as many snakes to the website as we can. It's hard with all these babies still hatching. It's hard to find time to take pictures and get them up on the website, but make sure to check it out. I also have a complete price list available. You can email me at garrick at crestedgecko.com and I can actually send you my price list that's got everything I have on it, even the stuff that's not on the website or on Morph Market yet. So make sure to do that. If, you're, if there's anything that you're interested in, uh, let me know, and I'll be back again very soon with another video for you.